technical issues. Hello Facebook, welcome back to my kitchen. Hello YouTube, lovely to have your company. I hope that this is working. I had a few technical issues earlier. Oh, so boring. Anyway, please let me know if I'm the right way round and all of that. It's quite funny seeing myself here reflected in my phones. I had a, a funny comment this morning. I just posted a video of Brella and me making my rose petal granola. Um, which I'm actually just finishing a little bit of here. I've got one more mouthful left. Mm. Excuse me. Too good not to finish. I put a whole load in here. I hope you've made yours or are planning to at the weekend. It's so good. Anyway, this comment said that um, because I'd filmed it in a similar situation and I've got my copper pans behind me, so I had two copper pans, like two copper ears sticking out of my head. Anyway, these things you only find out after you upload something. <laughs> that video, by the way, has gone onto YouTube, so if you want to check it out, I've got a few more videos also that I'm putting up onto YouTube this weekend, so head over. It's the Lizard Wellbeing YouTube channel. Click on subscribe, and then they'll all kind of feed into your phone or your iPad or whatever. Hi there, Alison. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Claire. I'm assuming I'm the right way around, otherwise you would tell me. So, what have I got for you today? Well, it's Friday, if you're watching me live. So, uh, Feel Good Friday, I've got a really nice turmeric latte recipe to share with you, which is so comforting and warming. It's Friday fashion, so I'm going to talk about my new frock, frock on Friday. It's good, isn't it? That might become a regular thing, frock on Friday. Uh, and also freebie, freebie Friday. Yes, all about gut health. Got a brand new offer just for today. You can get my e-guide. I printed this one out so that you could see it uh, on paper. This, if you haven't already got it, is really fabulous. It's all about gut health. My team and I wrote it uh, last year and we've updated it. It's a flatter, happier tum, all about gut health. And it is, thanks to our friends at Bimuno, which I'll talk about in a bit, um, they have sponsored it for today which means that it's a free download. Yes, completely free. So just go to Liz Our Wellbeing, you can download it. And it's a really good read. So if you want to know a little bit more about the microbiome, about gut health, about probiotics, prebiotics, all of that, um, and how to beat the bloat. So that's why it's called a happier, flatter tum, because it's helping to reduce the bloat. Um, completely free, so do download it. It's packed with good information. And actually, I've just recorded my Friday Five, which will go live a little bit later, my podcast, because there was really interesting research published this week showing that those who take probiotics are less at risk of getting the adverse effects from COVID. Isn't that interesting? It was a huge clinical study um, conducted by the Zoe App people, so that's Professor Tim Spector and various other senior medics. And they were saying that some of the supplements which I talk about, which I was really thrilled obviously to read, um, they have identified as being particularly helpful for our immune system, especially in relation to COVID, the severe effects of COVID and of course long COVID. And the highlights of that, the takeaways really, were probiotics, omega-3 fish oils, um, vitamin D and general supplements like magnesium, you know, taking your multivitamins. So really, really interesting to have some clinical data. And it was a huge study. I think it was something like 135,000 people, if not more. So very interesting. And also interestingly showing that the benefits are really primarily for women. And there's a lot of research that needs to go on to clarify why that would be. But of course, one of the key things that makes women different from men is our estrogen. And as you may know from my chats before with people like Dr. Louise Newson, estrogen is fundamental in our immune system. So really interesting. So I invited Louise back onto my podcast to chat about that and also to give a few more of the findings and a bit more of the updates there. So if you fancy taking a listen, that will be live a little bit later on on my podcast. Hi Evelyn, live from Leeds. Very nice. Thank you, Lainey, for putting the codes up on Facebook. Welcome to everybody who's new. I know I picked up a lot of followers this week, new followers, particularly on Instagram, following my appearance on this morning, earlier this week. So if you're brand new, welcome to my Instagram and Facebook lives. I started these in lockdown back, gosh, 
what was the end of March last year and I now I carry them on so it's a lovely community you're really welcome it's positive vibes okay positive vibes only that's what we talk about here so it's a chance to switch off from the rest of the noise and the negativity grab some wellness and well-being hints and tips and share some nice community chat if you're watching me live so on Instagram I can't put links up live they don't let me so there's this little thing called link tree if you go to my bio in Instagram it's a little blue line that says link tree if you click on that then all the little links that I talk about will come up if you're watching me on Facebook if you're new to Facebook really welcome to my channel here so Lainey who is my photographic assistant and production assistant she is manning Facebook today for me so she will put li live links up on Facebook and of course they stay so if you really want to um, perhaps if you're watching on Instagram live for all the comments and the chat if you want to head over to Facebook a little bit later on or over the weekend if you want to check out any of the links they're all there otherwise worst case just go to lizardwellbeing.com and you should find most of it there so where to start so much to say maybe I'll start with a bit of fashion because I know people are always interested in what I wear so this dress was sent to me by my lovely friend Annie Reed. Sanson Reed, and you'll find her on Instagram. I think she's also on Facebook. She does daily lives as well. She's a small, independent, female founder, little British boutique, and she has things that you don't find elsewhere. So this dress, this is one of her dresses, and also one of her belts. She's given us 10% off everything there, but she has all her accessories now, I think, apart from the jewellery, have the Liz Loves discount. So if you want to head over and take a snoop around over the weekend, perhaps, lovely little bit of on online shopping supporting a great British female founder led brand and I'm going to show you how I wear it because this is my new favorite thing it's a prairie style dress I'm sorry you can't see it in full length it's actually quite long so I'm wearing it just with a little pair of ankle boots here um, it's really voluminous and comfy oh my goodness this is actually a size small would you believe it I think she's got extra small, small, medium, large, and extra large. So you can imagine if this is a small, I don't think there's anybody that it's not going to fit all shapes and sizes, which is really nice for a change. So it's a kind of drop-waisted prairie style dress. I like the fact that it's slightly cropped on the sleeve because you know me, I always like to push my sleeves up a little bit. And then I thought that um, to emphasize my waist, I would use one of her uh, sort of slightly glittery belts I love these belts she does them in lots and lots of colors and this one it's a sort of rosy gold which is one of my favorites so you can kind of belt it in if you want to give yourself a little waist um, or perhaps you're going to be uh, making and eating lots of granola and other lovely things and you just want to let it all hang out then of course you can wear it loosely so comfy I've actually just popped a little vest on underneath because I was a bit chilly this morning temperatures dropping again it was warm yesterday here in the west country it was kind of grey but warm I think because the wind had dropped but now oof, really chilly this morning so on the subject of rose gold before I forget one of the reasons I like this the little details it's got these little um goldy rose gold buttons which are quite unusual always like a little bit of detail so the rose gold I think is so pretty and of course it goes with my rose gold mangrove heart earrings which are also on sale how about that now oh, it's all very carefully planned isn't it sometimes so yeah so mangrove I think because it's the mangrove shape the little mangrove leaf which is a natural heart shape uh, which I pick up on the beaches in Lamu in Kenya and that's what formed the basis of this little design I might just take this one out to show you because they're so pretty um, they're like a little filigree do you see little filigree hearts can you see that try and hold that to the camera anyway I make all my um, jewelry designs using fair trade gold they're all handmade from fair trade uh, artisan miners in Peru and this one there's a rhodium one which is silver color and then there's the yellow gold and the rose gold, 24 karat, thick vermeil plating, all fair trade. So there you go. Anyway, I think they're 30% off. Just go to Lizelle Jewelry, or I think Lainey, you'll pop a link, and there is a link in the link tree if you want to know a bit more about that. Anyway, just thought I would mention that in passing. So I'm going to kick off, I think, with the warming theme of making... One of my favourite warming drinks when it does get really chilly and you just need a bit of comfort and that is the turmeric coconut latte. Really easy to make. Uh, you can use coconut milk or plant so-called milks if you want. I don't really like the word plant milk because you can't milk a plant. 
and it's it's kind of a plant juice really or a plant water it just happens to be white but obviously it doesn't have the same nutritional value as whole milk i use whole milk i'm lucky in that i can get my milk from a local vending machine direct from the farm if you're interested in that then do head to Lizard Wellbeing website because we've got a whole map of the country where these vending machines are um, widely available and becoming more widely available. So I'm going to measure out my lovely Polish pottery mug. I'm just going to pop that on the stove top just to heat up. But you can use coconut milk if you want. So that's going to go on there like so. Don't let me forget it because I'm really good at that. And then you just need to give it a coconutty flavor. I'm going to add a little bit of coconut oil. For me, that's enough to get the coconutiness, the kind of creaminess coming through. A Little bit of turmeric powder, really interesting spice, isn't it? Turmeric or herb, is it herb or spice? Anyway, really interesting. It has anti-inflammatory properties. I know a lot of people take it for joint ache. It's just good for general all round health. Again, we've researched it. We've written about it in my magazine. You'll find articles up online on Lizard Wellbeing if you want to know a bit more about the properties of turmeric. Turmeric does do well if it's combined with a little bit of fat for absorption. So that's why I'm going to add the coconut oil. And also it needs a little bit of black pepper. So I'm going to use just a little tiny grinding of black pepper um, to help activate it. And then if you want to, you can also sweeten it with just a little bit of honey. So I've got my um, natural British honey here. And as I've said before, always check the labels when you're buying honey. It's like everything, you know, you have to go around the supermarket these days with a magnifying glass, don't you, and watch everything. So make sure that when you're buying your honey, it tells you where it comes from to make sure it's the real deal. So I avoid anything that says it's a blend of EU or non-EU honeys. That often means that it's got some Chinese import in there and the Chinese, they tend to produce honey in huge factory type sheds where they like intensively factory farm the bees and they feed them on glucose syrup. So they're not out pollinating, they're not out doing the things that we really need the bees to be doing. So make sure that you know where your honey is coming from. Oh. I said, let me know. <laughs> this is such a hot plate on the Arga. Um, right, I'm just going to wipe that up. Nothing like a bit of live telly, is there, really, to keep you on your toes? Right, just do that very quickly, um, just to get rid of it. Right, there we are. Sorry about that. Normal service will be resumed momentarily, people. <laughs> uh, what do I think about non-pasteurised milk? Yeah, I mean, if you can get raw milk from a local farmer, you've obviously got to be careful and make sure that their hygiene is really good. But I have to say, the farmers I know who sell raw milk are really on it, really hot. And of course, it's got lots of good gut bugs. And you know, the reason that they introduced pasteurization back, I think it was the 1930s, is because hygiene wasn't what it is today. I mean, now you go into a dairy and it's all, you know, steel and lots of disinfectants and really, really clean. They're scrupulous with hygiene. Um, and so in the old days, you know, you used to run the risks of TB and things from having infected, unpasteurized raw milk. But of course, what you do in pasteurizing milk is you kill off a lot of the bugs. Still keep the goodness. You still keep your good proteins and your calcium and your iodine and all of those really important things, um, which is why artificial milks or, or plant milks or juices have to be synthetically fortified because they don't naturally contain those things. Um, anyway. Uh, you will find more on Lizard Wellbeing about that. I actually have recorded lots of films about grass-fed milk and dairy and all of that. So, because it, it, for a while it was a real passion of mine, um, and I'm still a passionate believer uh, in the goodness of grass-fed and regenerative farming and all of that. But that is a whole other story. Uh, if you haven't listened to my podcast, by the way, with Patrick Holden who for, I think for 20 years, he was the director of the Soil Association. And then a few years ago, he set up the Sustainable Food Trust. Really interesting. It actually kicked off the season last year in the autumn. It was the first podcast of that season. And it's fascinating, even if you're not interested, particularly in farming or regenerative agriculture or whatever, and you think, well, oh, that sounds a bit dry and boring. Do take a listen. Honestly, anybody who eats food, 
needs to listen to that podcast. It's really good. Take a listen this weekend. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear. So back to my turmeric latte. I have now got some non-spilt hot milk and I'm going to add into that. I'm going to start off, I think, by adding a spoonful of my coconut oil and that will just melt down in there because obviously the milk's nice and hot. I'm then going to add a teaspoon of my turmeric powder and you can make this more or less turmeric-y, how you like it really. I like quite a nice, generous bit of turmeric, so I'm gonna add a good, healthy teaspoon. I'm going to add a little bit of my um, runny honey, just for a little bit of added sweetness there. Um, I think if you're using coconut milk, you probably don't need to add the honey because coconut milk has got quite a lot of sugar in it normally. Uh, and then a little grinding of black pepper to activate the turmeric. So there we go. So those, those are just the ingredients, literally. And you just whisk that together to make it nice and frothy. I would normally do this on the stove. I'm not gonna risk that again. And if you've got one of those nice electric milk frothers, you could pop it into that and whiz the whole thing around so it gets really frothy, um, up to you. If you're using a, a plant type milk, you could try oat milk, that froths really well. But I don't bother with buying oat milk. If ever I want to use oat milk, you can make it so easily. You just use oat soaked in water. Et voila, you have oat milk. You don't need to use any of the packaging, the transportation, the processing that goes in. So um, that would be my, my takeaway if you want to use oat milk. So there we go. So there we have a nice warming. I should have got a glass actually show you, so you could see the colour, but it is the most beautiful colour. Hopefully you can see that going in there. Oh, delicious. Smells good too and just so comforting. You know, sometimes you can't beat, can you? Just sitting with a nice warming cup of something in your hands just makes you feel cosy and, mm. Oh, that is really good. Really good. Anybody tried that yet? Do let me know. So this recipe actually comes from one of my yearbooks. It's from the Liz Wellbeing Yearbook 2. This one here, which I know many of you have. I still do have some copies. It's not available in any shop. Nope, it's just from Liz Our Wellbeing. It's an exclusive that we do and uh, packed with seasonal recipes. I love it. I refer to it all the time. Lots of goodness. I sign every copy that I send out. I've got a stash of them here at the farm. So you'll find them on the Liz Our Wellbeing website. If you like your signed copy, um, I'm going to be cooking lots over the next few weeks, definitely from my yearbook too. But that recipe is in there. But you'll also find it online. It's also on the Liz Our Wellbeing website. So now cracking on with today. So I talked about this being Freebie Friday. Yes, Freebie Friday. Free for everybody, but just if you're watching me in real time, just until midnight. Okay, midnight Friday. So don't hang about. If you're watching me in the evening, if you've had a you know a day at work, if you've been out at the coal face, if you're a key worker, brilliant. You really need to help support your gut health, which is going to help support your immune system and all of that. So please do grab it because it's completely free, no strings attached. Um, we don't spam you, we don't you know, sell your data or do anything nasty like that. This is what it's all about. Uh, this is genuinely me, I promise you. It wasn't retouched. I was breathing in, okay? And it was before most of lockdown. There are a few little lockdown pounds that are still kind of hanging around, which I'm gonna try and shift. But there we are. But it just talks about so many things. Um, so if I just whiz through the contents, just so that you know, it talks about what the gut microbiome is. So if you're new to the gut microbes and gut microbiome, this is, I think, the year of the microbiome. One of the things that I talked about on this morning, actually, with Holly and Phil on Monday, they asked me what I thought were the top well-being trends for 2021. And one of them I picked up definitely gut health, gut microbes, we're hearing more and more about it. This Zoe uh, app study that was published this week is just going to be you know, ongoing. I think the research is so interesting what's happening with our microbiome. So this little e-guide talks about the reasons to look after our gut bugs, gut health and weight loss, really interesting connections between certain types of probiotics and certain gut bugs that help us to stay slimmer um, that also help our mental health, so help reduce anxiety, help with sleep. So many reasons why we need to be looking after our little friends down here in our gut. 
So then I talk about the microbial metabolism, um, how to feed your gut with prebiotics. And this really, I guess, is where Bimuno come in. So pre Bimuno, if you don't know it, is a really brilliant supplement that you can just add into everything. Um, it's something that you can take every day. It's a bit like fertilizer for your gut bugs. Okay, Once you've established your good gut health routine, maybe you're having your kefir or your yogurt or whatever, and you're eating lots of fiber, which our gut bugs also love, feeding them with a little bit of this, and this is how you take it. I'll just show you, actually, I've got my turmeric latte here. I actually sprinkle it into tea or coffee. It's just really simple, just one sachet every day. And then you know that you are helping to support your gut microbes. And because Bimuno are so generous to us, uh, they have actually given us the Liz Loves discount. So not only have they provided this free today, but they've also given us 15% of all their microbial powders here. So you can get either the, the powder, or you can get, they do these little um, chewy things that you can take a little chewy um, every day which is really handy actually if you're out and about or if you're traveling for in the future when we are traveling. And what I hadn't realized was that that 15% also applies to their bundles. So they've got a discount on a bundle of three, I think. Um, and you can still use your Liz Loves and then get a double discount. So really big thanks to everybody at, um, at Bimuno for helping to keep us well. I'll just check that I've got that right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so... It, uh, yeah, it works out to about 30p a day, apparently, when you're subscribing to it. So, um, and the prebiotics, yeah, this is interesting. This is a question here. So the difference between prebiotics and probiotics. So prebiotic, it's not a spelling typo. If you see that written somewhere, I remember when I first started writing my, my book, I wrote a book called The Good Gut Guide about five years ago. And I was looking at prebiotics and I was going, oh, that's a typo. Surely they mean probiotic. And actually, no. Prebiotic is the food, like Bimuno, that feed the probiotics, the good gut bugs. So you need both. You need your good gut bugs. You need your probiotics because that's what's populating the gut. And then you need to keep them fit and healthy. It's no good just having them because you don't want them to die off. You want them to multiply and, and be really stable and happy in the gut. And that's why you need to look after them. It's like tending your garden. You know, it's like fertilizing the ground. That's what you need to do. So, um, yeah, so prebiotics like Bimuno are really good. And this is, it's a unique, and I'm going to have to see if I can pronounce this properly because it contains a unique thing. It's galacto-oligosaccharides, okay? Sometimes known as GOS, G-O-S, galacto-oligosaccharides. And they say that you can see a difference in seven days. So there you go. And I think, yes, uh, there's a question there about children. Um, yes, so they've got, they can take half a sachet for children aged four to 11. So there you go. So... And that was um, independent studies scientifically developed with the University of Reading. So well done, British scientists. So then in the guide here, it goes on to talk about the different types of probiotics, because there are obviously different, lots of different kinds. I mean, trillions of them, possibly, that we don't even know about. Um, and then I talk quite a bit about IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's, you know, all these sort of common digestive disorders. And then also talking about the benefits of intermittent fasting. This again is something that our gut bugs love. They love it when they have a chance to rest. Because if you can imagine, our gut bugs are working all the time. And the only time they get a break is when we don't eat. So they love it when we sleep. So one of the reasons that good sleep is really good for our immune system is because the sleep is affecting our microbiome, which is then supporting the immune system. So it's a whole kind of circular thing. So really good intermittent fasting. One of the reasons why I don't eat breakfast, I get up and I try and do a little bit of exercise in a fasted state. Um, I take my amino slim. I'm hoping to get Zana Morris back on the show in a few weeks time. She's run out of amino slim, so I'm not gonna talk about it, but if you message her, maybe she'll put you on the wait list because we also have the Liz Loves code on that as well. I know lots of people are getting on really well with it. So I tend to not really eat until kind of 11, maybe midday. And uh, when I first started doing it, it was just such a 
it was a mind over matter. It was really my brain telling me, oh my goodness, you haven't had breakfast. You know, we're told you've got to have breakfast. It's the most important meal of the day. Rubbish, it's not, okay? So get out of that mindset, particularly if you've had a really good supper the night before and gone to bed, you don't wake up starving hungry. You know, it's in your mind. So once you tell your mind that actually it's fine, I am gonna eat something, but just not right now. So I tend to have a little bit of black coffee, maybe with a bit of creatine powder in it for muscle mass. Um, or just some really nice herb teas or chamomile tea or you could just have hot water and lemon just anything like that that helps to rehydrate and get you going uh, without actually giving you any of the proteins or sugars that would then trigger your digestive system um, and then it talks about how to protect your gut bugs and there's lots of links to resources um, to podcasts I've done some of them here I did a podcast obviously with Professor Tim Spector who was leading that Zoe study uh, I've talked about intermittent fasting, if you want to know a bit more, with Max Lowry. He's a really cool guy, so it's interesting to take a listen to that. I talk about gut health for kids with the natural doctor for kids called Lucinda Miller. Uh, she's a great naturopath who works a lot with children, particularly children with spectrum disorders, because a lot of kids who are on the spectrum, you know, whether you're looking at autism or ADHD or all kinds of disorders, have been shown to have some kind of microbial disturbance, so she's very hot on that. And then I also talk about gut-friendly kefir with Deborah Carr. And Deborah Carr was actually one of my first podcast guests because she was a high flyer in the city who cured her Crohn's disease. She had it for two years or more. She was so badly affected by it, she was bedridden. She had to give up work. And then she discovered kefir, and kefir made her completely well. And she became so evangelical about it that she set up this little brand, Nourish Kefir. I love it. It's a really nice, small, female founder-led British brand. And these are the starter cultures that I will often use. It's a powder. So again, if you are traveling, when we do get to travel again, you know, I take my powders with me. Um, otherwise, I make my own kefir using grains. We do have a Liz Loves, by the way, on Nourish Kefir. So many Liz Loves. It's really nice that people want to share the, um, the generous discount. I think it's 10% on Nourish Kefir. Um, so there is a really good podcast you might want to listen to her, particularly if Crohn's is an issue for you or somebody that you know, or you want to know a little bit more about kefir. And then I've also talked about fermented foods. So that's all the things like sauerkraut and kimchi and kombucha and that was with um, Ursula Barnes who's also written a great book on gut health and used to have a cafe, a gut friendly cafe um, and then last but not least there's a great nutritionist called Laura Tilt and I discuss IBS, so Irritable Bowel, Syn bowel Syndrome and IBD um, which is the Irritable Bowel Disorder with uh, Laura Tilt and she says here um, reading from these notes that one in seven of us are affected by IBS. Isn't that amazing? One in seven. What is wrong with what we're eating? Well, I can tell you partly what's wrong, but that's a whole other story, so we won't go there right now. Um, so yes, so in that particular ish episode, we talk about fibre, the importance of insoluble fibre. We also talk about FODMAP, FODMAPs, and those of you who are affected by digestive disorders will know or perhaps have heard the term FODMAP, so interesting discussion on that, um, and also about fermented foods, so lots of things. So basically, if you haven't yet got it, it's completely free, okay? So it's a gift for you for the weekend, so do download it, but that gift does expire at midnight tonight. So I hope you are all grabbing it. Uh, lots of questions I can see coming in now. Thank you very much, uh, Lainey, for passing these on to me. Okay, um, fermented foods. Yes, uh, what were you saying here? Oh, this is from Sixpence Flowers. If you're vegan, um, plant-based drinks. Yeah, of course, you can use the coconut milk or the oat milk. All I was saying is that I don't really like the term milk because they obviously don't have the same nutritional value. You know, that it's, it's like coconut water or juice, really. 
because when something is a milk, obviously it's got lots of proteins and it has iodine, you know, naturally occurring good fats, all of those things um, which have to be synthetically added or in some cases aren't added. So, uh, and of course they're quite highly processed. But yes, if you don't have dairy for whatever reason, then yes, please do. You can adapt the, the coconut latte recipe. And in fact, I think in the book, it talks about using coconut milk, but I prefer to use cow's milk and then add a bit of coconut oil to it. But totally, you can you know make your own choice on that. Um, can raw turmeric be used, says Janine on Facebook. Yes, if you've got raw turmeric, amazing. Uh, absolutely, you can either juice it if you get the little uh, nuggets of raw turmeric or you can just chop it up or grate it, infuse it. Yeah, fabulous if you've got the raw stuff. Um, what's the best way to find what is bloating you daily? That's from Evelyn on Facebook. I think keeping a food diary is always really useful. You know, it's boring, but it is useful. Just have a piece of paper in your kitchen and just, you know, divide it in half, two columns. On one side, just write down what you're eating, what you're drinking, and then on the opposite side, a couple of hours later, just record any symptoms. That's the only way, really, that you can track it. You know, the, the, the tests that you buy, I think they're expensive, they're not very reliable. I think you have to go by your own body. Your own body will tell you, you know, what is bloating you. But usually it's, it's due to some kind of imbalance in your gut health. And if you can sort out your gut health, repopulate with good probiotics, feed them with your prebiotics, um, you tend to find that issues like, you know, IBS, bloating, really just melt away. It's, it's quite extraordinary. So do download. It sounds as though the, the download could be a really good thing. Um, that's your homework, perhaps, for the weekend, is to read that. Uh, so Roro Rocks on Instagram says, do you need to take them in any specific order, the pre and the pro? Uh, well, obviously, you've got to have good gut bugs there. You've got to have your probiotics in order to feed them. Um, however, how do you get them to multiply and grow? You need your prebiotic foods, so I would say do them together. You know, do them in conjunction. Increase the amount of fermented foods that you're having, your live yogurts, your kefirs, all of that, um, and then just keep them going. Oh, I've got a bit of low power issue going on there. Hopefully that's not going to be a problem. I might just switch over my, um, my power lead just to make sure that we don't suddenly get cut off. Is that working? There we go. Yes, it is. There we go. Um, so talking about probiotics and the, and the ones that I like to use, obviously you've heard me bang on so often about kefir. So I've talked about nourished kefir. Um, if you manage to get the good gut box, so that's from Liz Our Wellbeing. So that was a collaboration I started last year with a really great British company called Freshly Fermented. And I put together six of my favorite ferments in a box at a really good price. Um, I think there's a link on Instagram or on the Lizard Wellbeing website, you can find it. Lainey, perhaps you'll pop a link up um, on Instagram, on Facebook rather, for people there. And that contains your kefir grains to get you started. And you can make them with cow's milk or you can use a plant-based alternative. I would just say that there are studies showing that the milk, the, the, the cow's milk, um, or the animal milk, it could be sheep's milk or goat's milk, does seem to be more effective. And it's, they think it's because the animal proteins tend to wrap around the probiotic goodness and protect them as they travel through all that intense sort of fur nerve acids in our stomach. So you tend to find the beneficial bugs that get further down into the lower levels of the intestines. So, you know, if that is an option for you, I would always use an animal milk for making milk-based kefir if you can. Um, in the gut box, however, we've also got water kefir. So these are grains that you make. I think I've got my water kefir. I've got it right here, I'll show you. So uh, these are my water grains here. These also come in the gut box. So you can make these and you can keep them going. You can, they, you know, they, they grow and grow and then you can take them out, strain them, remake the next batch. Uh, you also have your starter cultures for the yogurt. And this is where you have a choice. You can either choose the Vili yogurt sachet starter culture and that's the thin yogurt. That's so easy to make. 
you just mix it together and leave it. That's literally all it does. And then overnight it turns into yogurt, it's magic. But it's quite thin. If you want a thicker set yogurt, this is mine here that I made earlier in my little yogurt machine. So I make these every week and I just use a really nice quality organic milk and I have the Bulgarian starter culture. And everybody who has used the Bulgarian yogurt says, oh my goodness, this is genuinely the best tasting yogurt I have ever had. It's so, so good. So if you don't believe me, just try it. Or maybe there'll be some comments here from people who've tried it um, because it really is good stuff. And of course, you can then reuse it. So once you've got all your ferments, there's also a creme fraiche ferment, the turmeric bug starter and the SCOBY. Yes, the famous kombucha SCOBY. So once you've got all your six things, you can keep them going forever, pretty much. Maybe not forever, but you can certainly keep them going for months and months. And, and so it's really good value. What I like about making yogurt is that you aren't having to buy it. It's not commercial. You know it's live. It's packed in glass, so it's sustainable. You're not having to throw out endless yogurt pots. Uh, and, you know, you make it overnight. Really, really easy. And freshly fermented, actually, once you're on their website, uh, they do have yogurt makers and all the rest of it. So they're a really nice company to support. Another nice company to support talking about gut health, and this was something that I talked about uh, last week, I think, is the microbes. Who's got this yet? Let me know whether you've got this. So, uh, yeah, Chris, I love the Bulgarian yogurt. Make it all the time. Yeah, absolutely. Same, Chris. Uh, so this is the BioLive. This was a, a company that I discovered. They are a farming family, British farming family, based not far from me, actually, down in the West Country. And they have really extraordinary things on their website. Do check them out. Their website is uh, microbes, spelt M-I-C-R-O-B-Z, microbes.co.uk. So this, this particular one, has 15 different families of beneficial gut bugs. So many. I don't know whether you can, probably can't see all the small print there, but that is, you know, the 15 families and they combine them with organic fruit juices and they are really delicious. You take 15 mils, that's a tablespoon, in the morning and that sets you up for the day. And they've got lots of different ones that you can choose from. Um, this is the one that I'm on at the moment, Revive. I've been using it every day, taking it. And it's hard to know what is working when you're taking lots of different things because obviously I'm taking my Life Armour balance drops and I'm taking my magnesium from Newsome Health and I'm upping my vitamin D and I'm making sure I've got my B vitamins, I've got my Better You vitamin B12 spray that I use. Uh, and I do feel really, really well. And I just think, you know, where is that coming from? Is that coming from better microbes? Is it coming perhaps from my better sleep with my slumber drops and my magnesium? And I think actually it's a combination of all these things. And I think it's, it's hard to separate it out. I mean, I guess I could just stop doing one for a few months and see whether I you know, went downhill. But actually, I'm feeling so good on everything that I think the research is there, certainly for the things that I talk about. Even things like fish oils, you know, the DHA for brain health, for anxiety, for mood, for emotional support. So useful, so useful to have all these things. And the great thing is you don't have to give anything up. No, it's just adding stuff in, adding good stuff. Having said that, obviously that's no excuse just to go out and feast on ultra processed food and junk food. Um, try and minimize the stuff that comes out of packets. You know, I always say, try and cook from scratch if you can. Just really simple things. Choose things that are seasonal, local. You know, if you get a veggie box delivery, that's really great because it tends to be the local seasonal stuff. Put veggies on your plate first before adding in your protein or other things. Um, minimize the amount of sugar. And if you know your way around the Lizelle Wellbeing website, you know that we've got lots of recipes on there. We've got lower sugar sweet treats. We write a lot about sugar and about the links with inflammation and lowered immunity and all of that. So, and also things like glycation, which is the aging of our skin cells caused by too much sugar. So lots of reasons why actually we need to be really sugar aware. And there's a great sugar app. I think it's part of the NHS app. Is it called Sugar Smart? I think, which you can download. I think it's a free app. 
and that's like a sugar checker so you can see what's in and I always look you know I'm, I'm known for it in my family always whenever I have anything with a label on just flicking over having a quick look and seeing and it'll say it's obviously quite hard to read you know the sugar industry I think are quite um, are quite clever at hiding the amount of sugar in things because it lists the amount of carbohydrates per hundred grams and then underneath that it says and represented as sugars so that's the bit that you need to look for sugars per hundred grams um, and then you can work out from there you know how much sugar you're getting and try and reduce it try and keep it lower one of the things actually that I was looking at uh, not so long ago is the way that sugar spikes our uh, insulin and, and our blood levels and how we can help to regulate that and having a little bit of fat in our diet first so eating something high fat before we go on to eating something sugary just really can help stabilize insulin levels and just help with mood and emotion and all of those things so uh, what else do I have to tell you today so um, right, in step. So apologies, big success story for lovely Julie Ford. Um, her in step, the lovely exercise workout, resistant bands workout, the special one, uh, has sold out, but she is getting more in. It's an eight week lead time, so she will have more. So I'm not gonna talk about that really until it comes back into stock, otherwise it would just be annoying for everybody who wants it. Uh, but I will let you know just as soon as she has it. But for those of you who do have it, and I know hundreds and hundreds of you do have it, you will be getting a link, if you haven't already, to her Zoom class. It's going to be 10.30 tomorrow morning, Saturday, live, I will be there in my leotard jumping around with Julie. So I do hope that as many of you who have got your instep already can join it for a bit of fun. It's just half an hour just to shake away the week and get a really positive glow going for the weekend. Um, so that comes direct from Julie. Okay, it's her class and it'll be on her Zoom platform, but you will get an e-invite from her if you have bought your, um, your instep. Yes, lots of comments about my dress. Uh, okay, so Annie from Samson Reed has said that she's going to talk about this dress as well on her live and about sizing. So Annie, if you're watching, thank you so much. Love it. Thank you for giving us the kind of the, the advance notice on that. I think you've got, I don't know, a couple of dozen or so in stock, so not a huge number, um, but I absolutely love it. I think navy blue is just such an easy colour to wear, it's a lot softer than black. I don't know where, maybe it's because I live in the country, but I tend to keep black for, for London when I'm working, when I'm kind of feeling like being in the Tower of Power, that's when I, I hit my black mode. But I just find that the darker neutrals are softer for the skin, you know, dark chocolate brown, navy blue, dark charcoal. You know, these are just a bit more forgiving, I think, whatever you're coloring. So I love the fact that this is navy blue. And I combine it with black. I mean, my, my little boots are, are, are black and my, my thick tights are, are black, but I find that the navy blue works better against skin tone. And of course, soft pink, little pinks, little pink botanicals, and then the rose gold buttons going with my rose gold earrings oh, and my little rose gold belt there you go uh, so yes do love that thank you very much for uh, giving us the advance notice on that one um, Olive I'm new on Facebook loving your positive vibes hi Olive welcome yeah positive vibes only okay there's enough of that other rubbishy stuff out there we don't need it for this time uh, so nice comments about the granola okay so this how-to recipe is now up on YouTube do take a look I recorded it with Brella my lovely Brella she's taken a big bag back to uni um, well uni I use that word loosely online learning uh, which she's still paying a fortune for even though everything's closed but there you are let's not go there because this is positive so positivity she has her rose petal granola to keep her going and she and I were here in the kitchen and of course being Brella she was wearing her little blue bucket hat how cute is that with the long purple hair and just so much fun so a couple of comments about that uh, Carrie on Instagram said made this granola will never go back to shop bought, shop bought again brilliant you know, it's so much better for you and it's cheaper and it has all the goodness in it. And of course, if you don't like one particular ingredient, you can just leave it out and substitute it with something else. So, or if you have an allergy to nuts, you can make it with seeds or, you know, you can really mix and match it. 
Um, and yeah, keeping the sugars down, really important, and no packaging, no processing, no transportation, all of those things that keep our footprint on the earth a little bit lighter. And also from Sarah Lou on Instagram, who says, always a jar of this on the side. Made it for Christmas presents for the family, complete with tartan ribbon and jiggle bells. Love it. <laughs> I love that too. Yeah. Well, I think when Brella runs out, I don't know whether she's going to be able to make it at uni. Maybe not. Maybe I'm going to have to make her some more and send her a care package in the post. But yeah, lovely thing. Lovely thing to be able to make homemade treats um, and share them with our family and friends. Uh, this is from Susan. Um, Susan, you've obviously... Uh, looked at my makeup video. I did a makeup video for YouTube, which I put up live yesterday with my kind of smoky eye. And you say, uh, this is on YouTube, so thank you, Susan, if you're watching now on YouTube. Gosh, your skin is amazing, looking so much younger than your years, Liz. I am nearly, or I'm early 60s and would never do close up for fear of cracking the mirror. <laughs> well, there's a couple, there are a couple of secrets, obviously. Number one, as I've talked about before, always have a nice light, really important. Um, and, you know, I do lots of things. I found that oestrogen from HRT totally keeps your skin plump. I've done lots of podcasts about that. I'm not going to go down the HRT rabbit hole today, but definitely oestrogen in the skin is important. Retinols, which I've discovered a few years ago, which I love. Again, lots of information about retinols. My really wonderful health and beauty editor on the Lizard Wellbeing magazine is always trying new things always sending me new stuff and some of the things that she's come up with um, she actually writes a really good column in the magazine if you've got yours I think this issue she always takes a new ingredient which is really interesting to know about so this one um, she is writing about so she's written about CBD oil isn't that so fascinating and CBD in skincare really interesting and I've just learned so much, like Bacuchiol, which I was talking about on this morning, which is a plant-based version of retinol, which is really interesting. And actually in this issue, we also have the great journalist, great writer, um, Alice Hart Davis, who writes a lot about tweakments. You might follow her on Instagram. She's got a really good feed. She talks about red light therapy. And this is something that I've been doing. Many of you will know that my eldest daughter, Lily, this is actually featured in the magazine. This is her extraordinary mask. It's expensive, but oh boy, does it work. Oh my goodness. In fact, I'm hoping, if Lily's well enough, that she will be with me on Monday to do uh, Instagram Live with me talking about LED. Because these masks, and hers actually combines near-infrared with three different types of light. The red light, which is the kind of rejuvenating for younger, plumper skin. Uh, then there's the pink light, which is really good for inflammation. So that's for people with rosacea, psoriasis, eczema. And then there's the blue light, which is brilliant for acne, skin clearing, spots and pimples. So if you've got a mask, and as I say, they are expensive, but if you do have one as an investment at home, it can be used by other members of the family. I've got younger members of my family, for example, using the blue light setting um, to clear skin, whereas I go to bed every night. I use the red, the red light without fail, 20 minutes every night. Now, I wouldn't be without it. So she's going to talk about that with me. She first discovered it, actually, um, because she was researching LED light and pain for her chronic pain condition. And that's when she came across this. So she now imports them exclusively. Um, it's a little company called Cell Return UK, which is that she set up and that they come in from South Korea. They are NASA technology. They're the best on the market. It's, they're really extraordinary things. So, and she has given us a Liz Loves code. Well, I mean, she couldn't not, could she? Obviously, because, you know, I was saying to her, well, I'm going to talk about these, but, you know, come on, Lil, you do need to share the love. So yes, if you want to, head to cellreturn.co.uk, take a little look. Um, even if you're just interested in the technology, it's really interesting to learn about it. So Cell Return, as in Skin Cell, C-E-L-L, -L, cellreturn.co.uk. Liz Loves, all in capitals, gets you 10% off. They are expensive, they're about £1,800. Um, but you know, I know for a lot of people in smaller salons, for example, they've been buying them, beauty therapists have been buying them for their like nail bars, so that when they're doing nails, when we're up and running, they can offer this as an extra service. Um, or if you're somebody who spends a fortune on facials and skincare and all the rest of it, um, and maybe other kinds of tweakments, you know, you can actually save a fortune by doing 
just your mask at home. And I think with more of us at home looking for things that we can do without having to go out and about, then it's uh, it's becoming more and more interesting. Anyway, do take a look, because as I say, I hope she's going to be here on Monday. So if you've got any questions or comments, then uh, I'm sure she would love to interact with you. It would be lovely to have her. I hope that, um, that that will be possible for her to join us. Anyway, so yes, yeah, so that was a quick overview on what I do kind of skincare wise. So it's a two way thing. It's, it's things that I take uh, like my estrogen and also having lots of good fats in my diet. I'm a great believer in high fat, low carb. That's the way I eat. So I have my boiled egg, for example, just before I came live today uh, and keeping my sugars low and then using things like retinol, using things like light treatments. Um, so light on the skin. And of course, you know, if you're doing Zoom or anything, making sure that you stand in front of a nice light, really important. This is also a lovely bit of beauty from the magazine. This is Hannah Martin, who you may have seen on Channel 5. She's a, a friend of mine. I've known her for, for several years. Uh, she's a brilliant makeup artist. And she is an expert in the smoky eye. So I thought I would try and copy what she was doing. And I did a little tutorial on YouTube, which some of you may have seen already. And I was using for that the Beauty Pie palette, one of my favorite palettes. Um, because it's got 10 different colors in it and actually today I did something that I don't normally do I don't know whether you can see but on my eyes I have a sort of gray blue it's almost like an inky navy blue I thought if I'm wearing navy blue in my frock uh, I would put some navy blue on my eyes which yeah I quite like so Beauty Pie again another brand that I love Marcia Kilgore she's such a genius a legendary beauty entrepreneur I've podcasted with her take a listen she's fascinating we've also interviewed her in the magazine Liz loves on her website Beauty Pie website gets you a free month so that is it's a subscription site if any of you don't know about it um, you sign up you can just sign up for as little as three months and I think it's for a little of five pounds a month, you know, it's not an expensive thing. But Liz Loves gets you your first month free. And then everything that she sells like this is at cost. So this palette, for example, I think would normally cost about 35 pounds and it's about 10. So and also the retinols that I was talking about, I use the Beauty Pie retinols because, again, they are really seriously expensive to buy. I think that the ones that she has would normally retail for about 60, 70, 80 pounds. And I think I pay about eight for one, eight pounds and about 12 pounds maybe for the super retinol that I use at night. So massive saving. So you can see for a very low membership fee, you can save an absolute fortune. And I, I really do rate the quality. I think she is very clever to do what she does. Anyway, I just noticed the time. My goodness, where does the time go? So much to chat about. And it's lovely to see all the... Um, uh, oh, what's this? Uh, you have, oh, uh, one of my um, commentators here on Instagram has written an article on menopause for the National Management, sorry, Nursery Management Today magazine. Isn't that brilliant? It's been published today. Well done. Will you post it maybe on your stories? Can you pop a, a, a picture of it and tag me? Um, and then I'd love to take a look. Uh, and then reshare because it's always it's all about resharing and of course a lot of what we can do here on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube is reshare stuff it's such a great way to reach people and to give people information that they might not have otherwise heard so you know you can reshare stories you can reshare posts all of that you can link you can share podcasts so it's often saves maybe an embarrassing conversation that you you know you think somebody might not want to perhaps you know bring up the subject of menopause or help um, or mental health and anxiety, you know, you can share lots of good stuff in a really easy way. I would just double check before I love you and leave you that I have covered everything. Oh, this is nice. This is again from Instagram. Roro Rock says, I made your turmeric cheese stars this week. <laughs> I got a bit turmeric hands rolling pastry, but they were delicious. So quick and easy and perfect with soup. Brilliant. Absolutely. Those cheesy stars. Again, I think the recipe is online. Um, so easy. You can make it using scraps of old leftover cheese with a bit of turmeric and you don't have to cut them in star shapes. I did that because it was Christmas and it was fun to do with the kids. But yeah, really nice. Get, if you've got kids at home, um, homeschooling, how's that going? Mm, not so keen on that myself, but there we are. We have to do needs must. Um, so yeah. Uh, oh, lots and lots of chat. Oh my goodness. Uh, 
thank you this is from rogers on instagram love the catch-ups i must say everything i've bought from people you recommend i've loved them everyone i'm still taking kefir kombucha from first lockdown and feeling the benefits that's great isn't it feeling the benefits now you're doing such a wonderful job thank you um, Evelyn says the extra virgin olive oil, the Greek one, which is Governor, which we've also got a Liz Loves code on, has really helped my knees. Interesting. Yeah, we need these good fats. An extra virgin olive oil, sometimes you'll see it written as EVO, shorthand, E-V-O-O, has been shown to be hugely helpful for the gut microbiome, which is maybe one of the reasons why the Mediterranean diet is so health protective, because they obviously have a lot of extra virgin olive oil. Um, love the turmeric coconut latte, that's from Valis on Instagram, I make this every day, says Zara. Um, this is from I'm Happy on Instagram, Liz you look stunning, love your makeup, thank you very much. Yeah, it's a sort of bluey grey vibe going on, stay safe, just passing by as working from home on lunch, nice to have you. Uh, I've been taking microbes for a week, okay, so this was this one this really nice family run business, check them out. They've got a really interesting website if you want to have a little snoop around and learn a bit more about gut health. Um, this is Microbes, as in micro, BS, B, sorry, BZ. <laughs> it's not micro BS, it's micro BZ, okay, bz.co.uk. Uh, and this is from ST on Instagram and she says she's been taking it since, uh, for two days um, and feels so much better already. Isn't that great? Lovely, quick fix, simple, quick, safe, easy, effective. That's what I love. Tick, 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 tick. Um, and then Sam on Instagram says, feeling so much better since taking the supplements you suggest. Excellent. Uh, gosh, lots more questions. Um, I shall try and be back on Instagram a little bit later on today to maybe answer any more. I'm sorry I don't do direct message. I just can't. I'm, I've got, I'm spinning so many plates, but I do really genuinely try and reply to as many comments as I can. Um, and the same on Facebook and over the weekend I shall be popping on and doing stuff. Also just recorded some new bits and pieces which will go live on YouTube, so make sure that you're subscribed to that. Make sure you're subscribed to the Lizard Wellbeing newsletter. That's about to go out today. That goes live, I think at four o'clock. It should hit your inbox, but you have to subscribe to get it. It's totally free. We don't spam you, we don't sell your data, nothing nasty like that. It's simply a resource for Liz, our wellbeing community. Um, and of course, the Friday Five will be going live, my podcast a bit later too. So busy, busy, better get on with everything. Thank you very much for being with me. I shall be back with you live on Monday. Uh, lots of good things, hopefully with Lily, talking about all sorts of stuff. Uh, so stay tuned to that. And if you do have your instep, watch out for that Zoom invite to Julie and we will be working out together at 10.30. I shall look forward to that, I think. Yes, anyway, stay well, stay safe, stay happy, stay positive. Thank you for all the hearts. I can see them all on my screen. Thank you, thank you. Sending you big hearts back. Lots of love. Bye-bye. <laughs>